welcome guys so um, i'm again posting a video today although it's a holiday around aur sab bachche log aaj festival celebrate kar rahe hain so i thought i should not break the continuation i should break the rhythm and i'm posting this video uh, the chapter is heights and distance i think i should have i will take two three more videos for this chapter i'm trying to put the videos um, the question of numbers 10 10 questions with each video so that you may get a short packages of practicing these questions 10 at a time and i believe that aapne sare purane videos dekh liye honge and they must be they might be helping you out so uh, in exact continuation with my previous video i will put the link uh, at the end of video for the first video you can download the entire playlist of hat and distance or trigonometry from my channel before that subscribe and like the video so without wasting much time i am trying to solve this question a different question from the other questions and uh, you must read the question very very carefully man on the cliff observes a boat at an angle of depression 30 degree which is sailing towards the shore to the point immediately beneath him 3 minutes later the angle of depression of the boat is found to be 60 degree assuming that the boat sails at a uniform speed determine how much more time it will take to reach the shore the speed of boat in meter per second the height of the cliff is 500 meter understand the question very carefully if they had been there this question is saying that first thing first take it step by step to pehli baat ye samajhiye ki boat ka depression ban raha hai cliff se observe kiya ja raha hai i should have a cliff and a boat is being observed ye mera ek pehla step maine diagram mein convert kar liya 3 minutes later the depression of the boat is found to be 60 degree the boat is moving towards the shore and it reaches a point okay and this angle is 60 uh you can take at this point as d this angle is 60 but in this question there is a very different thing which we should try to understand they are saying that 3 minutes later so that means boat is traveling aur humko boat ki speed nika humko nikalna hai ki wo kitna aur time lagayegi d point se shore tak pahunchne mein ye shore hai और ये डी पॉइंट है कितना टाइम और लगेगा बोट को शोर तक पहुंचने में अब हमको यहां पर जो टाइम गिवन है उसको डिस्टेंस में कन्वर्ट करना है लेट मी टेक स्पीड एज एक्स मीटर पर मिनट now x meter per minute means that uh, we have taken it per minute because time is given to us in minutes so i'm taking the speed in meter per minute and not meter per second don't we'll change time into seconds time ko second mein change mat kariye aur speed ko x meter per minute mein hi rakhiye so and i also assume that it will take t minutes more to reach the shore now time is 3 minutes from c to d point that means distance between c and d is 3x meters i hope you understand the speed into time the speed is x meter per minute and the time is 3 minutes this distance is 3x meters i am thinking that it will take t minutes more to reach from d to b point that means distance between d 
D and D is say how much say is T X meters. So take it as T X from here to here. Now our diagram is completed, and now we must go in triangle number one. ADB <coughs> tan 60 equals to AB upon BD this is H upon TX root 3 equals to H upon TX H is root 3 TX Come in full triangle <coughs> ACB tan 30 equals to 3x plus Tx. And this may H code replace career. And this X is being cancelled out. So you got 3T equals to 3 plus T and T equals to 3 by 2 minutes. Answer of first part 1.5 minutes more will be taken by the boat to reach from B point to B point or to the shore. Now the second of the question is slightly changed. It says that uh, that if the height of cliff is 500 meters, what is the speed of boat in meter per second? Now how do I use the value of uh, height of cliff in this? So H is given to me and where can I use this? Uh, can you tell me the idea about this? And think on this. हमको कहां पर एच को यूज करना है ताकि हम स्पीड को कैलकुलेट कर पाएं स्पीड हमको कैलकुलेट करनी है हमने अभी स्पीड कैलकुलेट नहीं कर रखी है हमने तो अभी सिर्फ टाइम कैलकुलेट किया है कितना टाइम और लगेगा हमने स्पीड को एक्स मीटर पर मिनट मान रखा है यू कैन सी समवेयर द रिलेशन बिटवीन एच एंड √3 एंड t एंड x आई कम्स एट दिस इक्वेशन so in this you can write down the value of t as 3 by 2 and h here as 5 and i can do it here so 500 equals to root 3 into 3 by 2 into x this gives me 1000 upon 3 root 3 इसको रैशनलाइज कर दीजिए एंड विल गिव यू 1000 रूट 3 अपॉन 9 मीटर पर मिनट आप चाहे तो इसको कन्वर्ट कर लीजिए मीटर पर सेकंड में तो यू शुड नो द कांसेप्ट हियर टू कन्वर्ट मीटर पर सेकंड आ व्हाट मीटर पर मिनट इनटू meter per second what should i do i should i should divide divide by or multiply by think on this i need to change the speed from meter per minute into meter per second what you should do you should divide by 60 so divide career that would give you the speed of a boat in meter per second i hope you understand the question and the solution as well keep this screenshots with you take use your phone in case shots when i have was note college it was store college up to pass it ready made with the question answer would be available so i'm taking the next question now almost same kind of question 
They say that a man in the boat rowing away. I'm just taking a, the diagram for you and not giving you the entire solution. I hope you should do this question on your own. A man in the boat is rowing away from lighthouse and the angle changes from 60 to 45. So, which angle is always greater? The near angle is greater. This is the near angle. This angle is hai. Or ye angle of course chota hai. The height of the lighthouse is 150 meter. It takes two minutes to change the angle from this to this. Speed ko fir se exhume kar lije. Say x meter per minute. Or humko time given it two minutes ka. Us boat ko yaha se yaane me do minute lagte hai. Let's keep labeling kar deta hoon. A, B, C, D. So, the distance between C, D should be 2x meters. Aur humko speed of boat find out karni hai. Humne, humne, agar humko speed of boat find out karni hai, what should I do in this question? Now, should I use this, the value of a speed as x? But there's something else can we do? Now, I think what we can do is that if I anyhow find this distance and divide by 2 minutes, that will give me the speed of boat in meter per minute again. So, if I do not assume this as 2x also, it will work in that manner only. So, what should I do first is that I should take triangle ACB. tan 60 equals to AB upon BC, root 3 equals to 150 upon BC, BC equals to 150 upon root 3, it's called rationalize kar dije. that gives you 3 time, it is 50 root 3, the this distance is, and then to take This total is one fifty meter. So what I've got out of it here, here that I give you something else. So the color today is fine. So this total distance is one fifty meters. So I need to find the distance between DC that will be BD minus DC. 150 minus 50 root 3, 50 ko common nikal lije, 3 minus root 3, 50 into 3 minus 1.732, what will be 50, what will be 3 minus 1.732, it is 1.268, 50 into 1.268 gives me 63.4 meters now we have got the distance traveled by boat in two minutes so two minutes means 120 seconds so agar aapko speed nikalni hai to distance upon time kariye 63.4 upon 120 answer is 0 0.52 meter per second that's how we got the speed of the boat in this question and we get the speed directly in meter per minute as meter per second as well what do the meter per minute simply divide by 2 talk about answer meter per minute mein aa jayega. I hope you understand the question. So, when we want to change the value from meter per minute into meter per second, 
सिक्सटी से तो आपको क्या करना चाहिए डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी कर देना चाहिए आई होप यू गेट द क्वेश्चन एवरी वन लेट एस मूव हेड विद क्वेश्चन सो पर्सन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर ऑब्जर्व दैट एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन ऑफ टॉप ऑफ द ट्री स्टैंडिंग ऑन द अपोजिट बैंक इज सिक्सटी वेन ई मूव फोर्टी मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द बैंक यू फाइंड दैट एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन ऑफ टू विथ थर्टी डिग्री फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ ट्री Correct to two decimal places in the width of the river. So now onward, uh, what I will do is that I will try to post a video every every evening around eight o'clock, so that you may have a fixed time <coughs> to get these videos. Let us see uh, if I can maintain that schedule. A person standing on the bank of a river. Observe. So I should make a river. He is moving 40 meter away from the bank. He finds the angle to be 30 degree. Find the height of tree. And this is river and width. So BC is river, and AB is tree. So what should I do now from here onward? I should try to find So this gives me exactly as 20 meter the value of x. Put this x here, and the height is 20 root 3. 20 into 1.732 is 34.64 meters. Now this kind of question are very common in the exam. आपको बस end तक end तक की सारी calculations को याद रखना है कि कैसे आपको calculate करना है चीजों को. We can manage those Calculations at the end, the question becomes so easy and so smooth, and you can always find solutions out of these questions. The horizontal distance between two towers is 75, and the angular depressions of top of the first tower, as seen from the top of the second tower, is 45. Now, up to you decide to decide which tower is taller or which is shorter. Is the first tower tall or the second tower tall? मुझे ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा तो बच्चों कैसे पता करेंगे इस बात को सो so, उसके लिए आप ये देखिए कि जिस जिस टॉवर का डिप्रेशन बन रहा है वो हमेशा लेसर हाइट पे होती है और जिसमें एलिवेशन आ रहा है वो हमेशा हायर पोजीशन पे होती है सो द डिस्टन बिन टू टॉवर इज सेवेंटी फाइव डिप्रेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट टॉवर As seen from the second tower, which is 160 meter high, is 45. Angle भी हम भी लेके आना है, तो एक और line draw कर लीजिए. 
this angle is 45 find the height of first tower let's go h man diagram is slightly confusing i guess so now take in triangle a e b So, AB equals to BE, of course, you can understand that because 1045 is 1. So, this distance is X. This distance is X, you can see. This is also X. And so, this is also X. Now, I come into the, I come into what? Tell me now, what should I do? What was the second angle? I don't find any second angle. They are saying that, okay. Now, do you think I'm missing something in this? Yes, I am missing something. Which ko yahan par do towers ke beech ka horizontal distance. So, pehle se hi given hai. So, fir mein sab kyun kar raha hoon? Ye sab directly hi a jayega yahan par. So, I should uh, rub a little bit from here. Isko yahan se rub kar dete hain. Or isko bhi yahan se rub kar dete hain. And let us do this question again. I might, I might not be very careful with this. So that's why I suggest that we should be very careful about this. This is given to us. The distance between horizontal is 75 with 75 with 75. Right. Now, what you should do in this? So outrightly, first write down DC equals to BE equals to 75 meters or fairly clear in triangle AEB 1045 equals to AB upon BE. So 1 equals to AB upon 75. So this AB, this much distance is 75. So what would be BC equals to 160 minus 75. Uh, how you can understand that? And this is equals to 85. So BC is 85. So DE is also 85. So the height of first tower. is 85 meters. I hope you understand this question. So this question does not have much calculation but the diagram is slightly twisted. So please practice diagram many a time. Sometimes boards gives you this much basic question but it's trying to test your skills to draw diagram out of the question. Length of shadow of a tower standing on level playing ground is found to be 2 by meters longer than the sun's altitude is 30 degree then when it was 45 <coughs> <coughs> and so the length of shadow of a tower so shadow is always base i should make diagram once again tower shadow now in the question length of shadow is found to be 2 1 meter longer so, this is the original shadow. The job angle 45 tha, or job angle, job, or job angle 30 ka ho gaya. So, shadow 2y meter 
लॉन्गर हो जाती है तो आपको दो तीन बातें ध्यान रखनी है हमेशा जब लेंथ इंक्रीज हो रही है हम जब दूर जा रहे हैं किसी ओरिजिनल पोजीशन से तो एंगल छोटा होता जा रहा है तो अगर आपको ये टाइग्राम समझ में नहीं भी आ रहा है तो नियर एंगल तो ग्रेटर होगा दूर वाला एंगल छोटा होगा और पहली और फाइनल पोजिशन के बीच की डिस्टेंस टू बाई होगी इस तरीके से आपको क्वेश्चन डायग्राम गलत नहीं होगा अगर आप एक बार को डायग्राम समझ नहीं पाते हैं फिर भी आप उसको बना पाएंगे आराम से और इसको एच मान लीजिए क्या निकालना है हमको इस एच की ही वैल्यू निकालनी है इसको एक्स ले लीजिए We don't need x into this. I can replace x with h here. So that gives me one upon root three equals to h upon h plus two y. Root three h minus h equals to two y. Take out the h common. द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर रैशनलाइज करना जरूरी है उसको ध्यान से सीखिएगा उसके बिना इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर नहीं आएगा अगर आप इसको यहीं छोड़ देंगे तो आंसर सही नहीं है आपको रैशनलाइज करना आना चाहिए रैशनलाइज करने के बाद यू हैव द आंसर ऑफ एच फ्रॉम यूर क्वेश्चन समझ आ रहे हैं अगर इस चैप्टर की को प्रैक्टिस करना है तो थोड़ा सा कंफर्ट को छोड़िए थोड़ा कंफर्ट से बाहर आइए जो भी भाई कंफर्ट में रहेगा वो पढ़ाई नहीं कर सकता है आपको अपने कंफर्ट से बाहर आना पड़ेगा थोड़ा सा आपको उस जगह जाना पड़ेगा जो आपसे नहीं हो पा रहा है उस जगह एंटर करिए जो नहीं हो पा रहा है इसको उसी को दोबारा टारगेट करिए जो हो जा रहा है वो तो हो ही गया अपना जो नहीं सॉल्व हो पा रहा है जिस चीजों में हमको मुश्किल हो रही है वहां पर दोबारा हिट करिए अगेन अगेन ट्राई करिए क्वेश्चन को दोबारा ट्राई करिए देर इज नो रीजन दैट यू माइट नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज नो रीजन फॉर दैट बी एडमेंट ऑन दिस ट्राई एंड ट्राई अगेन एंड अगेन टीचर कैन टेल यू वन ट्राइज यू कैन सी माई वीडियो एज मेनी टाइम्स यू वॉन्ट बट अल्टीमेटली सिट विद योर ओन बुक एंड बुक एंड कॉपी रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड सिंपली सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन विदाउट एनी एनी any assistance from here and there you will find out that you are easily able to do the questions in this chapter as well now is a different question important also so that is the question and a aeroplane flying horizontally 1 km above the ground and going away from the observer is observed at elevation of 60 degree after 10 seconds its elevation is observed to be 30 degree find the uniform speed of an aeroplane in kilometer per hour so diagram is very interesting an aeroplane observed here at the height of 1 km 1000 meter correctly and it is flying horizontally that means altitude is not changing 
and after 10 seconds it reach a point where I find that the angle of elevation changes into 30 degree the elevation changes into 30 degree now you see it here so height is same we are observing at B point and C point. I'm, taking, I'm looking at here and then I'm looking at the other point flying horizontally. So it's going away from me. The angle is changing. It's decreasing. It is decreasing as it's going away from me. So earlier um, I, it was overhead almost angle was 60. Now it is slightly inclined to my eyes. The angle is 30. The angle is settling down. As it goes away, the angle will reduce. So, I need to find the speed in kilometer per hour. In triangle BAD. AD is this distance is 100 upon root 3. And total AE is 1000 root 3. Up to the distance BC, we call line and the DE find out. Karna hai. It will give me. The, I'm doing it here now. The speed is distance upon time. Now, distance is in meters. We have height to meter meter and time is in seconds so this speed is in meter per second now understand one situation of mind aapko ye answer nahi nikalna hai aapka answer to kilometer per hour mein aana hai to agar aapka answer kilometer per hour mein aana hai to aapko apne dist apne calculation mein abhi is point per root 3 ko nahi apply karna chahiye you should see that what my next step could be so that i may change this into kilometer per hour so the concept used here to change velocity from meter per second to kilometer per hour so what should i do for that do you know think for a second and i will tell you Multiplied by how do you remember that how to convert the velocity speed into kilometer per hour or meter per second and what and what not? So, our first speed 72 kilometer per hour, I am going to convert around meter per second, I am going to multiply 5 by 18, I am going to answer 20 meter per second. I am going to change 20 meter per second. Ko, Kilometer per hour, mein, so multiply karunga 18 upon 5 say. So I should multiply speed in kilometer per hour
The answer is to 40 root 3 kilometer per hour is the calculation and answer of my question that's how you do this question a very important question first step second step and the third step question ko kai baar kariye tag solve it many times and then try to see aap se solve ho raha hai ya nahi ho raha hai iske is iske solutions copy mein banaiye screenshots rakhiye in sab ke videos ko dobara dobara dekhiye repeat kariye See the calculations. Sung sung solve kariye mere. Main aapko bahut itnaan se questions karwa raha hoon. Getting at a slow space. I generally don't do questions at such a slow space. But because I want to um, uh, let you know every step of this question. So I am trying to do it at a very very simple speed as such. I should take one more question I think. From the top of the hill. The depressions of two consecutive kilometer stones. So I think I have covered two exercises of the chapter. The word is kilometer stone. Kya matlab hai iska? कि दो स्टोन के बीच में एक किलोमीटर का फासला है हम उसको किसी हिल के टॉप से देख रहे हैं ये टॉप ऑफ द हिल है हम उसको दोनों स्टोन दिखाई पड़ते हैं उनका डिप्रेशन तो ये एंगल तो यहां आ जाएगा ओ और ये एंगल यहां आ जाएगा और ये हाइट मान लीजिए फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू स्टोन फ्रॉम द फुट ऑफ द हिल ये फुट ऑफ द हिल है यहां से हमको डिस्टेंस स्टोन सी का और स्टोन बी का डिस्टेंस फाइंड आउट करना है So BC equals to H. Multiplied by 500, it is 1366 meter. So this distance is so second stone would be the so BC is. So BD is. Two, three, six, six. I guess the question is clear to you. So I, I think I have I have covered almost every kind of question. A few examples in your book you can see carefully, and I will solve this question, those examples in one another video. For a while, I am. I think I have covered uh, uh, two sides of the chapter. So I am ending this video here only. The third side I will start in next next video. Might be I post it tomorrow. I'll try to uh, give you some videos on trigonometry parallelly side by side in the same playlist so keep waiting for that until uh, then solve these questions enjoy uh, the, today's holiday enjoy the festival everyone happy raksha to all of you 
but exams are coming keep studying boards are coming keep studying boards are coming for your life these boards have an immense importance you might not see it but i from this position can see how important these exams are for you they open the gate for you uh, for your positions in life what you will do ultimately in your life this will be decided by your performance your hard work in this board exam man lage padhai kariye that's what all i can say so see you guys in the next video till then i take your off subscribe the channel please and share this videos with your friends like it as well put your comment section i don't uh, find your comments in the comment box keep commenting how did you find the video and aapko kya questions aur samajh mein nahi i can repeat them as well for you bye bye